Hello all, how are you all doing? Hoping you're having a great day. Today I'm going to show you how to use a new feature that is a Protozoal Road Generator that I put into Max Easy Time. The latest version that you can download now on the Patreon Discord server if you like. But uh, first let's just try to make something random. Set up some um yeah let's look at a good spot to make a road perhaps over here this looks like a good spot and then let's set up the trees too many yes like that oops a little larger not so tall and remove them from the slopes Put in a little variation, just uh, some quick one here. Grass, what can we check out? Some perhaps like mm, like that. No below water. And a variation, just take this one. And update it. Let's look how it looks. Yeah, we don't want uh, all those underwater. Oops, yeah, we're going to move this also. Underwater high. Remove all of those. And then we're going to fade in the grass. We do this here. Like that. So don't get you don't get that sharp corner when uh, it goes from grass to no grass, and then we can try to make some roads. That is what it's all about now. So yeah, this is what we have now. So uh, we'll just remove the trees and then start drawing our road or path. We just do like this. something we can try out so you know how it works then we smooth it and close the path we can now try to look at it this is how it looks ah, we can just draw the path also create path that's the normal path how it looks and you can see here how the spline works if I move this you can see how it uh, react all the other splines react now uh, let's try to convert this into uh, a mesh you do that by using mesh and it will create the road just need to set that okay you can see here um, there is a piece missing here, so you can close the mesh by using this button, like that. So we have the road generated. Uh, we can just smooth the Y and create the path again. And then we can try to enable the trees and try to follow it around. I don't hope I hope it don't flicker for you now. It uh, don't flicker here is totally smooth, but uh, I had a problem with it last time, so... Uh, well, you can see our road look, uh, looks fine, but uh, there is a problem we need to fix here. You can see it's uh, about the ground, a little about the ground, the road. We can uh, adjust that here, so if you set it to 2, you can see it get closer to the ground. But uh, that can create some problems, like uh, if you look over here, then the ground is starting to go through the road. So what you need to do if you see that is uh, use this smooth Y path. Just click it up a couple of times and recreate the path. You see now it's removed and we can then follow the 
Rotate around. Just remove these to see if there are any. Oh, there's something here that's wrong. Let's try to put the notes on and adjust this one. Oops. Oh, one more. Yeah, that, that's fine. So we now have our road. Oh, by the way, uh, as you can see here, it's a pretty. It's a. You can change the resolution of the of the spline mesh by uh, using by disabling the spline, so you only use the notes. You see it here, and then it become a low polo model. But uh, you can see the difference. You can see the corners when it's turning. So uh, you can then just select spline, and you see you get a perfectly rounded line in the texture. Yeah, that's another thing. You can also um, adjust the UV scale so uh, it fits the road. Let me do that just by lowering this. You can see. It looks way better now. So, oh, oh. Let's just try to run around it to check if it's hundred percent okay. It looks fine here and here and here. There's no problems with it now. So let's save this one. First, what we do is uh, we export the mesh as an OBJ. Do this here. Oh yeah, you can change the textures if, we, if you wish. Uh, select another style if you wanted uh, a rail or uh, a train track. Then we could use uh, textures like that. Oh. If you just want some asphalt, yeah, you can take any texture you like. But uh, let's just stick to the one, the default one, for now. And then we save it as uh, OPJ. We can just save it here, call it what you call it, video, video, like that. Then we also need to. First of all, I like to be able to continue this work later, so I save my terrain settings. We also call that video, and then we save. We export the level to Game Guru Max like this, and go into Files, Map Bank, and call it Video. That's it. <coughs> so we can now uh, try to import it into Game Guru Max. We just close this down. Start up Max. Just waiting a few seconds here. Do, 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 do. It's loading, loading. Okay, here we are. So we just go into the level editor. We open our video level. And as you can see, it looks exactly the same as it did in the uh, easy terrain. So uh, now to get our road in, we need to import it. So we will save it here, the video object. OPJ. Like that, you will not be able to see because it's a huge one. So uh, we can just, uh, you should, should always use the origi original scaling. Materials, we can change, uh, select one here. We take the same uh, texture, this one. And a normal. It was this one. And the roughness. This one. 
like so. Oh, currently it's uh, flipped uh, around the road, so you need to use double-sided. It's something I will fix for this version, but uh, you can buy, just use this and it will work fine. Let me import it. Importing objects. Like this, and you will not be able to see it here because it's so large. So, uh, just press Add to Object Library like that and then we just add the object you can't see it but uh, the trick here is to always set x y and set to zero and you can see you get the object in at the exact same position so we now have a road in game Guru max just for a test, we can try to run it in. Oops, yeah, that's another problem. You need to set this to. Oh, great, I. Uh, just a moment, just a moment. It needs to be a polygon collision, like that. And we can run around and uh, on our path here. And uh, the label we just created, well, what did it take? 10 minutes. So uh, it's pretty easy to uh, use. Yeah. So that's how you use the new procedural road system and you can download uh, the version of Easy Terrain now on Patreon and I really appreciate your support if you wish to so uh, even if you just get me a coffee that would be great and uh, until next time have a nice day